but the video that I just posted it's a continuation part one and part two that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a two-parter um no to continue to it like Call of Duty is like dry to the point right now like after Ghost Advanced Warfare had to do so much shit to make up for freaking uh, Ravens whoever made Ghosts poor effort at a Call of Duty and then we have to see another ghost because they left the campaign story at a cliffhanger it, it's just I don't want to see another ghost unless if it's a good freaking game that's the thing like that's why Battlefield's gonna take the market that's why a lot of people don't like this game anymore Call of Duty the series at the Black Ops 2 just sucked after Black Ops 2 I feel like the series just gone down like Modern Warfare 3, Infinity Ward, they just killed off all the main characters in the campaign. It's just not a good game anymore. Uh, let me see, freaking Ghost, that game's shit. That game was shit so bad, that was fucking, I cannot stand playing that game. Like, I sold it. The, uh, probably a week or two after I played it. I sold it. Vance Warfare, yeah, it's a good game. It started out so strong. Everyone had high hopes, but this is not Call of Duty. That's my opinion. Like, this game is not Call of Duty, to be honest. Jumping around, fucking jumping around in the air, that's not Call of Duty. Call of Duty's Domination. staying on the ground and strafing people like this. Going like this, not going like, boom, I'm boost dumping you. Like, that's not, it's fun, it's a different version of Call of Duty, but do I like having a Call of Duty like that? No. And see right there, this map. They need to tweak this map, tweak the spawns more. Like I'm, I don't like this map for the sole factor of the, the spawns. The spawns just suck in all, in in general. The spawns suck. See, I just die right there. It, it just sucks. Like, it. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm wrong or anything for saying this, but. Don't people want to have a game that they can enjoy and not rage your fucking head off trying to get a DNA bomb that's 30 gun kills or try to get a Paladin series without like tearing their freaking limbs from off their face? You know what I mean? Like it's just people get pissed so easily at games. I understand why. It's just like it's the poor making of the game. Like, the poor, like, the reverse boosting in this game. Like, when the game first came out, people just killed themselves so they can get a DNA bomb. That's how freaking YouTubers got their DNA bomb, like, the first week the game came out. Because all they did was just freaking shoot a launcher at the ground and freaking kill themselves. Like, who does that? Who has the time to just look down at the ground and just kill yourself? That's not fun. That's not Call of Duty. That's freaking boosting. People did that in freaking boosters. Pissed me off to an extent where the game's not fun anymore. Like you're telling me you want to be in a game where someone's putting down attack insert. This is Black Ops 2 that I'm re referring to. People are laying down on the ground in a building, shooting you and being pussies about it. Like I don't like that in at all. That's not fun. I, I'm more of a, like a running gunner. So if I see a guy like freaking staying still, it pisses me off. I don't like campers at all. My opinion on campers is that they suck. They're low light. They don't fucking play the game right. Call of Duty was meant for the people who wanted change. You know what I mean? Like they wanted a better gaming interface. Not freaking sitting on the floor with their thumb up their asses and freaking killing people. That's what I think camp campers legit just sit there and not do anything. They they deprive themselves on freaking showmanship thinking they're cool by sitting on the floor camping in a corner. See like that, head glitching. Shit like that. They need to neutralize that. Why do they put cover in that building? Why I understand it's a B flag, but a lot of people camp right there and guys camping on rooftops like 
Uh, it just gets annoying. You see, right now I'm six and sixteen. I don't know why I'm doing so bad. It's the map. It's not even my ability that sucks. Like I'm all, all right, Call of Duty player. I'm not calling myself fucking Phase or anyone. Like I'm not calling myself Phase. But I'm a decent running gunner. Like I can pull off gameplays. But what is the game mode that's good? All blank is just trash. Like, it's it, 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 one minute I played freaking Uplink, I've raged so hard in my life. I will never do that again in my turn in my lifespan. I will never fucking dare to play that game mode ever again. I can't. It, it's like I want to rip my head off. It, it's sad. Like, you put a game mode in every. Why don't you put Demolition back? That game mode was fucking beast. Demolition from Black Ops 1. Demo. That 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 just made a franchise. That's what put Call of Duty's word out. Is demo. Search and destroy. Like, I don't play that, but will, would I play it? Yes, I would get away from this fucking domination, because domination's becoming trash. Domination is trash now because of the campers. Like, Surge and Destroy, actually, I can, like, sit through and do all right at. Not freaking, uh, demo. No, not demo. I'm, I lost my thought right there. Not freaking, uh, Uplink. Like, who wants to play a freaking game mode like Uplink? Like, what is Uplink? How do you describe Uplink? It, it's a freaking basketball remake, basically. You shoot through the hoop. Like, it's not fun because... You got killed so much. And right there, like, the ASM1 speakeasy is probably the most overpowered gun in Call of Duty history besides the bow. And those two guns have been in this Call of Duty. And it's sad. Because there, there's only two guns that are overpowered as fuck in this game. And the rest are just... Maybe the ARX. I want to debate on the ARX a little bit. But... The ARX is probably a good gun for hardcore game mode uh, game modes in general like I wouldn't use it because it's a rage because you have to you have to have the right attachments for it and once you prestige it's just awful because who has the freaking time to do that like to upgrade a three round burst weapon and then you have the, I forget the gun name, the AMR9, I forget, it's that like five round burst gun that sucks, like who's gonna use that that's underpowered, like it takes like four bursts to kill them, not even with the suppressor, with the suppressor it takes like 50 bursts to kill the guy, like who has the time and patience to do that, and I still have to get that freaking gun for the, my paladin series, like that's sad. I'll never use that gun in the history of Call of Duty. Like, I, it's awful. Yeah, I'm being a hypocrite kind of right now using the freaking ASM1. But wouldn't you use the overpowered gun in the game? The ASM1 speakeasy, most overpowered in the game. Maybe still the bow, a city and steed. But I have both of them. Just. I guess you can say like other guns are good like but over time you see a lot of people using the same freaking guns in general like you see people using uh ASM ones bows it's the same shit and it just gets to a point where it's like it's not a game it's just a bow fest or an ASM one fest it's not a freaking game that's enjoyable. There's only three guns that are featured in that game that people use. Why won't you freaking nerf the freaking ASM1? Why won't you like unnerf the freaking um, AMR9? Guns like that, that IMR, make that the overpowered gun. <laughs> make like more guns the same length so not a lot of people can kill each other. You know what I mean? Like, people kill each other so easily in this game by the gun they use. And if you use the wrong attachment, you're dead. See, I just got killed by the bell. But if you have a suppressor on that gun, you're screwed. Just how 
matter you slice it and dice it it's just sad people head glitching everywhere and it's just I'm rambling I'm rambling I understand but you you gotta understand the point like I've been a call of duty I've been playing call of duty since black op no modern warfare 2 first came out on xbox 360 then I converted to ps3 I've played every call of duty I've played every Call of Duty in the history at least one time. I've played World at War. That's hacked as fuck now. That's the only reason people play it. It's hacked. And that's sad. Like, I don't want to play a game that's hacked. Even if it's like 10 years old. I still want to play a game for the enjoyment of playing a game. I don't want to play a game for shits and giggles and being like, oh, hey, uh, it's just a freaking hack fest. Like, Modern Warfare 2. What, what I really think they should do for the next gen, upgrade the games on next gen. If you did that, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, games like that for next gen, people would fucking have an orgasm, for God's sake. It's that good, like people, especially me, like people who love Black Ops 2 and shit for better graphics, better game. Upgrade the guns a little bit. Not even. Just leave the guns the same. Everyone would play this game. Everyone would love it. Because those were the good Call of Duties. And it's sad. Because who wants to let go of that? You know what I mean? And it, it, Call of Duty, it's going to be the same every year. That's why I'm getting Battlefield Hardline. Probably switching. Because who wants to play the same freaking game over and over and over again? It's gonna get old. It's gonna die. I thought it was gonna die last year, to be honest. I thought nobody was gonna buy Advanced Warfare. I wasn't gonna buy Advanced Warfare. Till I went on Twitch and saw it. I saw a gameplay of Twitch and I was like, oh my god. And then I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my god, it's such a good game. Because I used the bow. That's the only reason I liked the game was because I used the bow. And if you use the bow, it's a good gun. It is. It was the overpowered gun. You, the first game I think of, I played with Advanced Warfare, I went like 40 and two. So, it, it, with the bow though, no attachments with the bow. It was good. I mean, I'm not complaining. I am complaining a lot. They need to fix this game. Spawn systems, uh, Weapon balancing, uh, skill matchmaking. Because there was a time where I was, like, level 2. Le no, level 10, I want to say. I was paired up against Master Prestige. I don't know if I'm, like, good at that. Whatever. I still don't want to play a Master Prestige if I'm freaking the best player ever to play. You gotta under... It's... I know this video is gonna be long. It's a two-parter, though. But it's just, like... It gets annoying. Because the same old game comes out every year, but different graphics and different guns and different campaign. It's the same game, though. It's the same content. Go out and kill people. Battlefield, it changes its entire freaking storyline each year. Doesn't say the same. <laughs> Look at the bodies around. <laughs> They're like half bodies. That's what I fucking don't like. It's, it's just bullshit to be honest and i'm gonna cut the video here hope you guys enjoyed the video about me rambling about call of duty um make sure you uh comment subscribe like and favorite the video i'm harry signing out let me know how you felt about the video and to be honest let me know like your opinions about my videos like i need to know this so i get better and better at this game game mode Post some videos right now before I get an Elgato. I'm just posting off the system. So once I get enough money for an Elgato, I got like 80 bucks saved. I'm almost enough to an Elgato. I'll keep you guys posted about what I'm gonna be doing. But to be honest, um, I'm making videos with my buddy John or H HDS Clan Leader. Go check him out. Um, it's really good. Like, we're making videos. I'm probably going to still do... I'm probably going to change the uh, Paladin gameplay because I'm not going to post two a week. I'm probably going to post one video on Monday and the Creative Class on Friday. 
Fridays. And then probably going to do a commentary with him on Wednesday.